In this video, we're going to learn how to create a new classroom in Google Classroom. To get started, we need to find classroom.google.com. You can find it under the app launcher on google.com and click on the classroom icon. Or you can type in the web address classroom.google.com and that will bring you to this empty classroom page. If this is the first time you visit a classroom, you might be prompted to select your role, which could be student or teacher, select teacher. You may not be asked to choose a role if your technology administrators have already set you up as a teacher, but from here you can click on the plus icon and then select create a class. If you don't have the create a class option, it could be that your technology administrators need to set up your account to have access. So let them know if you do not have the create a class option. When you add a class, the class name is required, but the section, subject, and room are all optional. Enter your class name and click create. This may take a moment as Google is creating folders and setting up your classroom. Your new classroom will have a default theme and color scheme set up. You can change your theme by clicking the drop down to customize and then clicking select theme. This allows you to see a library of themes that are available from Google. You can select any theme you want and then click select class theme to apply that theme. That'll change the color scheme and the photo at the top. Another option is to upload your own custom photo. In the description below, I have a link that talks about themes in more detail if you want more information about setting up your own theme. If you want to modify your class, you click on the gear icon to take you to the settings. From the settings, you get the class details that you entered earlier. If you scroll down, you have more information about how to invite students, how to manage your stream, and then manage your classroom meeting links. The key thing to notice when you're first setting up your classroom is how do students interact with your stream. Uh, if you want them to be able to post comments or only reply to your comments, this is how you can control that. I have a link in the description that goes into much more detail about the stream in Google Classroom if you want to know more about that. You can close the settings in the upper left hand corner to return to your classroom. From the people tab, you can manage co-teachers and invite students. Most G Suite for education accounts only allow teachers and students from your own school domain. So you can't allow people outside of your school or with personal accounts to join classrooms. If you need to invite a co-teacher from outside the school district, talk to your technology administrator. They may be able to allow teachers from other school districts by flagging their other school domains as safe. To add a co-teacher, click the plus symbol and then start typing in the email address of the teacher. When they find the address, click on invite, and that person will be sent an email address allowing them to accept the invitation. Until they accept that invitation, they will have the invited status next to their name. Now with students, you have a couple different ways to invite them. You could invite them individually by clicking the plus icon here for inviting students and entering their name or their email address. When you click invite, it'll send them an email just like a co-teacher, and also like a co-teacher, they'll have the invited status until they accept that invitation. This relies on students to check their email and to accept the invitation, so some teachers prefer to use a class code instead of relying on sending a students an email. If you click on the stream, page again, you'll see on the left hand side there's a class code. This class code is a key that students can enter to have them join your class. So a lot of times on the first day of school or the first day of a semester, students will all together on their Chromebooks or whatever devices they have join the classroom at the same time. It's just a little more efficient for the teachers and the students. To show this class code, you click on this display icon to the right of your code. That'll display a slightly larger version of the code. You can click on the full screen mode. This will show the class code as large as possible so you can put it up on your board at the front of the classroom and when you're done you can close it from the upper left hand corner. You also have the option to copy this as an invite link so that you can copy this put it in a gmail or send it as some other message to a student. If you have a problem with students joining your class when you don't want them to you can also turn off this code and it'll disable it preventing students from joining your classroom kind of locking the classroom. If you need to re-enable that code you can find that under the settings scroll down under general to invite codes and switch it from turned off to turned on when you close the settings, then your code will be available again with a new code. Here I'm looking at an example student account. With my student account here, I'm on Google. Then I'm gonna click the apps launcher until I find Google Classroom to visit classroom.google.com. And here I'm gonna click join a class. Now I enter the class code as shared from the teacher and click join. Now back in the teacher view, I click on the people tab and I see that this student has been added. They're not invited, they joined explicitly so I don't get the invited status. That's one reason why teachers generally like to use the class code a little bit more than using invites because you're not relying on them to check their email and you can make sure that they have uh, properly joined your class while in front of you in the classroom. So that's everything you need to know to create your own Google Classroom. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I also have a link in the description to a playlist of other Google Classroom videos including full tutorials for students and teachers and parents. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Let me know if I can help.